70% of Africa lives in rural areas. And so if you want to uplift and move people from a low income sector or absolute poverty into middle income and a cash in the cash economy, you need to focus in on agric. You see, Africa has the lowest production of GDP of any continent on earth. Less than 40% of the population has literacy and yet it is growing at a rate that between now and 2050 is projected to include 1.8 billion new citizens. Africa has unbelievable problems that it's going to face. But I want to show you the opportunity. Well, in Africa, there is today the beginning of a new virtual nation, an ecclesia ecosystem that actually takes a career, a family, or a business out of Babylon systems and puts them in kingdom systems. With this sort of ecosystem movement, we generally see a 10 times increase in a, in a person's earnings. My name is Frank Mungombe. I have one wife, six children. Before I joined this project, I had some more problems. My family, they have to go to school. They have to, I have to buy some clothes and also I have to eat. So I had a lot of problems. We started working with a company. I used my own money to build this chicken house. After three months, I received my money. And when I received money, ah, it was good. It's when I started working and me also to build a house and our church started buying some cows up to this time. Every month, I received money. And I um, can tell you, my life and the whole family has changed. So for somebody like Frank, in his sort of space, it moved him from an income of $50 a month or less to well over $600 a month. And uh, within one year of us starting with Frank, there were 54 people around him that adopted the model and developed on it. And so it's a 54 times increase in 52 weeks. We built value chains that have about 120,000 farmers in them, and uh, those are fairly big value chains. But 120,000 farmers in a country like Zimbabwe is a blip on the screen of Africa's reformation and change that's coming. When you can get people working together and they can grow things like poultry or fish or cattle, in aggregate, we quickly reach institutional volume. If it's done in the context of clubs and communities and people working together versus doing it independently and trying to plug in, it's massively better. As a small-scale farmer, collaborating with other farmers, I can participate in corporate value chains and get my stuff sold uh, in supermarkets or even in export markets. Oh, nice. I want in. Working particularly in agricultural systems, um, we've seen how much having a farmer grow in their productivity helps their children get an education. The tech ability within the ecosystem, as you start to watch those things come together, you realize that this is exponential. We could be looking at hundreds of millions of farmers, hundreds of millions of students by the year 2030. That's beyond what we had ever imagined, beyond what we could anticipate. And quite frankly, from an investor perspective, it gives us a, an immeasurable amount of additional risk abatement. Now we don't only have ecosystems in agriculture in Africa, but there are ecosystems that are forming other places as well. There are ecosystems in the development of cities, construction and property development. And we're, we're not just optimistic, we're scared optimistic. So we need people, we need experts, we need folks being educated to be able to manage what we know is gonna be a viral event.